First this hour, Tottenham captain Hyun Son has issued a passionate warning that players will continue to get injured if the number of games increases. He warns that those in charge that the players are not robots and says that the current workload is not fair. Let's hear from him now. A lot of players came out uh, and uh, say the right things and I think it was very important to someone actually come up to uh, and say the right things, you know. Sometimes it's, uh, you players are the main guys to have to say something, you know. And yeah, it's definitely a lot of games and uh, as, a, as a football fan or as a who loves football, you want to see quality of the game, not many games as possible and you don't want to see people or players are struggling with the injuries and uh, which is uh, nobody wants to see it and yeah I think it's yeah it's definitely a lot of games a lot of traveling which is we have to look after after ourselves and uh, which is uh, sometimes it's also very hard and you, sometimes you're mental, men mentally physically you're ne not ready even not ready and then you're going to the into the pitch obviously then uh, the risk of uh, injury and is is massive so yeah we we are not robots so i think we just, just definitely have to looking after that and yeah reduce the game definitely and we can play better quality of game is definitely i think this is the should be a, should be the aim thanks honey if you play too many games, or you're saying you play too many games, first of all, last year Spurs only played 40 games because they were knocked out early in the League Cup and the FA Cup. But what tournaments do players not want to play in then? Because if I said to you, you want to play in the League Cup, you have a chance to win that first time in 20 years for Spurs, you'd say, yeah. Same with the FA Cup. Obviously, Premier League, Europe, internationals. I mean, you want to play in everything anyway, don't you? Yeah, but don't get me wrong. We love playing football. That's, that's, that's clear because that's what we... We work to be here, but uh, do you know how much we're traveling and how much we're playing games? That's, that's not only just about the games, you know, that that preparing the mentally, physically, I think it's a lot of work. And uh, I think the, the program was the adding even more games. And for example, like City games, they play on Sunday and Tuesday. This was not even flexible. So you could move uh, probably for the for the guys play Wednesday instead of Tuesday, you know, so, but it's not fixable, so we are not flexible. I think this is, this is we are talking about, you know, and there's no more that everybody get injury and high risk of the injury. I think it's, it's, it's not fair, I would say. And also I think Rodri would say, say the right things. We play maybe 50, 60 games and not, 70, more than 70 games, you know, I think this is this is not fair. So if there are more games, and this is a personal question, I, I'll, I'll tell you that, it's a personal question. If there are too many games and there are only going to be more added, would you be in favour of going on strike because that's the only way players put in their view forward? No, I mean, you want to you wanna go to the final and play a lot of games. That's that's different different scenario, but uh, what I want to say is that the platform, for example, we are talking about the Champions League, we changed the platform to play many, even more games. And I think this is not right to looking after the players, you know, just that's what we are talking about. And uh, and what we can do is that we definitely can change about it and we can definitely going in a in a good way that people, they can look in after after the players. Sonia, I know Ange spoke about this topic last night and so did, so did Daniel Levy. So it feels like everyone at the club is on the same page when it comes to too many games. What, what, what's the solution if it's not a strike? Whose responsibility do you think it is to... It's not change? definitely players. <laughs> it's not the players? Not the players. Players just... Uh, when the fixtures come, the player has to play. Players have to be on the pitch and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of going on, you know, and, I mean... Um, UEFA, FA, and uh, also international for for FIFA, and everybody has to taking about about this really seriously. And I think it's not just just not random. Just like only few players came out. Yeah, it's it's way too many games. What we want to see, as as I said before, I think what what we want to see is the quality of the game. You want to see high quality of games and uh, top games with top players, you know, so I think this should be the aim and obviously injury sometimes is, comes also with less games, but with the 
possibility of a lot of traveling, a lot of games uh, will be higher than when you, when you play less games. Tottenham midfielder Rodrigo Bentancourt was recently charged by the Football Association for a racist slur that he made during the summer whilst appearing on Uruguayan TV. Bentancourt's comments were directed towards South Koreans, even made reference to his teammate at Spurs, Shimin Son. Well, the Uruguayan has since apologised publicly for his remarks. Son says that he now has no problem with his teammate. At the moment, uh, from FA, the, the process, uh, that's why I can't say much about it, but I love Rodrigo B of I, I love him. I, I love him. We had a lot of good uh, memories. We started play together when uh, when he joined, and you know, I, he knew he he apologized straight afterwards. You know, when we had a holiday, I was in uh, I was at home, and I didn't even realize that was what's what's going on. And he just sent me a long long text that you could feel that he's it was coming from his heart. You know, and. Uh, Afterwards, then when we come to when he came back to the training ground for the preseason, and he just like felt really sorry, and he almost like cried when he when he said apologized in a in a public, also personal uh, personal as well. So, uh, but he felt like he was feel really sorry. We are all human, makes a mistake, which is we learned from it. But I love Rodrigo a bit, and I love him. I love him, and. He know he he made a mistake, but I have no problem at all, at all. So, which is, we move on as a teammate, as a friend, and as a as a as a brother, we move on as a together. And uh, yeah, I hope. Uh, yeah, just have to wait what uh, what I face as uh, a process, but can't say much. That uh, what I can say one thing is that I love Rodrigo. So there's there's no nothing nothing more to say. Well, Sean also spoke about his future at Tottenham, saying that there have been no fresh talks between himself and the club about extending his contract. Yeah, we haven't talked uh, anything yet. So I think I say in the fan forum, I, it was very clear for me. It's just like I'm very focused for the, this season. At this, uh, at this age, is every second is like... Uh, like a goal, you know, so for especially this season, we are in a, in a lot of competition. Feels like I'm taking a, even more care about, about this. And uh, just as I say, I think I'm just fully focused on this situation. And this year, just want to win something that, that everybody in this club and these uh, players and all around uh, that deserves and um, that's what I'm working for and in the end future you you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen but yeah I will make sure that I give everything for this club because it, it's been almost 10 years that I, that I give everything so yeah we'll see what happens so I still have a have a contract with the club which is which is main mainly very important thing and then just want to give everything what we what, what I have until until my contract